To write the formula for krypton trioxide, we first need to determine what type of compound we have. So if we look at the periodic table organized by metals, nonmetals, and metalloids, we can find krypton, that's Kr, that's right here, that's a nonmetal. And then oxide, that's oxygen, that's right here, that's also a nonmetal. So we have two nonmetals. That means we have a molecular, also called a covalent compound. And we can use these rules right here to write the formula. First, we'll write the element symbol for both elements. Krypton, that's Kr, and then oxide from oxygen, that's O. Next, we'll place a subscript after each of these elements here according to its prefix. So for krypton, when we look at this, there's nothing out here. We don't write mono for the first element. So there's only one krypton atom in this compound. We don't write the one though, we just assume that it's there. For the oxide, we have this tri. Tri, that means three. So we'll put a subscript of three and our formula for krypton trioxide is KRO3. If you need help memorizing these prefixes here, this table might be useful. This is Dr. B with the formula for krypton trioxide, KRO3. Thanks for watching.